Mm -mm, no, I don't want to smell that no more. Nope. <coughs> everybody welcome back to my channel today we are jumping into something new so i had a co-worker of mine give me a bag of fragrances literally a bag of a few fragrances that she actually got from timu and asked if i would review them i told her sure i kind of looked around in the bag and was like sure why not and so that's what i have coming up for you guys right now i have a timu fragrance haul all right guys so first up is a fragrance called yiba finn london honey peach oolong cologne very cute bottle um it gives me almost like birado kind of yeah it gives me almost like birado feel it's really cute um yeah so let's get right into the fragrance i'm not gonna waste time it's a cute little atomizer Yeah, um, it's from Timu, and no, I'm not putting it on my skin because it's from Timu. I'm just going to play it out to you just like that. I don't know yet. I will check the quality of the fragrance and, you know, first and see. Mmm. Ooh. That's nice. Hmm. Oh, that's like a soft peach, like juicy. I, 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 that's juice, like pizza juice. That's so good. And I'm loving tea notes now because, you know, Velvet Santal and the tea note and that. Oh, my gosh. That's got me really into tea. So when it said tea, I was like, ooh, but I don't get tea from this. I literally just get all juicy peach. And the notes on this are white peach juice and oolong. Straight to the point and simple. And this is actually not bad. Um, I haven't worn it yet, so I don't have a longevity for you guys or anything like that. But uh, this isn't bad. And I think this was all of like seven, eight bucks between $79. This looks like it's a 30 mil. Yeah, it looks like it's about a 30 mil. I think it's actually decent. Yiba Finn London. Not bad. All right. And next up, we have another fragrance that was supposed to be like a, um, a milk fragrance. I love lactonic fragrances. I really do. I love fragrances like Fresh Cream by Philosophy. Um, I'm getting into Blanche Bet. That's another one by Liquid Imaginaires. So when I saw this one at the office, when she showed me we were going through the bag and she was like, oh, this one's supposed to like milk. She's like, it's like a milk thing. She's like, I didn't really like it. But I was like, oh, I love milk fragrances. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of, it's, so it's, it, it's milky looking all right. And this is called Goodoo Sweet Moments of Milk Candy. Notes are milk, coconut, and caramel. Okay. Extra curious about this one. It's a good atomizer. But we all know milk notes can go a little sour. They really can. Wow. Oh, wow. I can smell it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, man. I don't, ooh, no, the caramel. It's the caramel making it smell bad. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Uh, like baby fucking vomit. Oh, sorry. Oh, mm-mm. No. No, no. Mm-mm. No. I don't want to smell that no more. Nope. <coughs> None of that. Well, that's a no on the Goodoo Sweet Moments of Milk Candy. No. Oh my God, that's horrifying. No, that was horrific. No. Oh. Get that out of here. Oh my Lord. Moving on. Moving on. Next, we have their Baccarat Rouge 540, which I believe they call it Baccarat or Barcat 504. <laughs> yeah. Barcat rouge 504 and let's see what bar cat is giving us i mean here's the bottle it's very similar to uh maison uh francis kirk de jean like mfk's Bacarac rouge 540 everyone knows it everyone loves it 
I just myself can't seem to get into it. I don't know why. I believe it's the saffron that I just, saffron is a really, really hard note for me to get past. Let's give this one a shot. I am praying that it is not delivering crazy saffron. Like I just can't with saffron. Mm, okay. Not, not too much with the saffron yet. But anyway, so um, I couldn't find the notes for it listed on Timu, but um, remind you, Baccarat Rouges, Almond, Saffron, Jasmine, Cedar, Ambergris, Woody Notes, and Musk. So this, honestly, what I'm getting right now is... I'm getting some sweetness coming in now. Something almost floral. Hmm. Jasmine. Okay, this is like a jasmine and vanilla. I smell it. Yeah. Okay. Soft. It's sweet. I don't get the saffron, so that's nice. This is like a baccarat minus the saffron. Because I smelled baccarat before and it was like, oh, got the saffron. This is good, though. I like it. So... This is a maybe. This is Barcat 504 from Tibu. Moving on. <laughs> then we have a, uh, I believe this is a YSL Libre dupe. This is by YCL Lieb. And uh, the notes on this, it actually listed them as lavender and white floral. That's all it said. This it's very similar to the YSL um, bottle. Very similar, but it's just shorter. Very similar. It's cute, but very white floral heavy. And we all know I do not do white florals. So for me, no. But I, I can see I've smelled Libre. This is nothing like Libre. Libre is way deeper. It's more intense. It's heavier. Libre's notes are lavender, mandarin, black currant, pedigree, lavender, orange blossom, jasmine, vanilla, musk, cedar, ambergris. Yeah, it's way deeper and heavier. This is just like all floral. Just all I get is florals with this. Just white florals. No vanilla. Just white floral. So this is a pass for me, definitely. Last but not least for me is a dupe that I'm sure everyone is looking for, and that's Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Here it is. I cannot even pronounce the Timu brand. It's Chuxanala Lovelebola. Whatever. Lost Cherry. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's too much. Um, yeah, let's see what we got here. We all know Tom Ford's famous Lost Cherry. The cherry that everyone says is the cherry to end all cherries. It just doesn't last long. Me personally, I think it's a night quill cherry. It's flat. It doesn't have a lot of depth to it. You know, it's very simple and straightforward. Let's see what this has to offer. There's that sweet NyQuil cherry. Mm-hmm. It's just that sweet NyQuil cherry. Tom Ford's Lost Cherry is almond, liquor, black cherry, sour cherry, plum, rose, jasmine, tonka, vanilla, cinnamon, benzoin, sandalwood, a ton of notes. Yeah. This is literally just cherry and almond. I do smell almond in this. Cherry and almond, nothing spectacular, nothing to write home about, but it's a very nice cherry. I'll give it that, it's nice. I have to test longevity, but um, out of all of these here, I would honestly get rid of that milky one that was just horrific i would never have that ever again um and keep the rest maybe like they're not bad this would probably have to go because too much white floral and then the rest i'd probably hang on to and really test these out hardcore which i probably will so after this review i'm gonna give these back to my co-worker and she hopefully she'll give me these back so i can keep them <laughs> i'm playing Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. This is my first little Timu haul that someone's actually given me fragrances for. I really had fun doing this one. I researched them to try to find their notes and compare them to their actual dupes or clones. Some of them are really close. 
some of them were way far off and some of them were like what the hell is this but uh the others hey i had a good time doing thank you guys so much make sure you like and subscribe for more content and comment down below and let me know what's a tv fragrance you might already have or let me know if i should do more videos like this where i review tibu fragrances and see if they're close to their um, originals thanks so much guys once again have a great one take care and bye bye